Brian on the other hand's over there, swinging it out, oh, right near the reeds, but it's just been snapped as well, not by a fish, just by a reed. Savage fish, better known as a bream. Never fail to catch one of these beauties. 2.1 pounds. Um, wasn't in there long. Just missed another one as well. So that's might be the difference in this competition. But good start, and I haven't blanked. So perfect. Good morning, welcome to Aquatic College. My name is Brian and today I'm back at Partridge Fisheries and today I've got my mate David Savage. Uh, we've been fishing now for approximately 20 minutes and he's got three bream and lost one. So living up to his name, the Savage Fish as we call it, he's raking them out. So yeah, there's the third one. Hopefully we'll get some carp. So stick with us and we'll see you in a bit. Well, it's been absolute chaos in the last 10 minutes got five fish. Savage has caught four bream and I've caught a barbel. So it's absolute chaos. Savage has caught seven bream now and I've just caught my first fish which is a barbel and it's only 25 past eight. The Savage King is raking them out. Can't keep up it. And I've got a barbel so yeah. Let's get them all weighed, chuck them back and let's sit down. So in Savage's competition, what we do is we take a total weight of all fish caught. So currently, at quarter past eight, Savage has seven bream to a total of 10.8 pounds, and I've caught one barbel to the grand total of 1.8 pound. And what we'll do is we'll add these up during the day, and we'll see who's the winner in the end. So it's 20 to 9 and I've got my first carp and it's a nice common 4.8 pounds. So it's gone on the whoa, it's gone on the far rod. Over to the margins. <laughs> so hopefully there's plenty more to come. I'm gonna chuck it back before it flies again. Well, it's not the double carp that I'm you know, I'm after, but they all count. A little roach, only just under a pound. It's 10 past nine, it's my eighth fish so far. So pretty, pretty good morning. Just need to move on to some bigger fish now. See you in a bit. Knew it. Well, I've just filmed a five minute, like few minute slots regarding Savage catching a roach, and I wasn't filming. So I've got this bream, which is eight ounces. Savage caught a roach, which was a pound. So yeah, and he's got another one. I'll see you in a minute. So it's quarter past nine, and I have just caught this nice eyed on the far rod, on the right hand rod far margin on the cell pellet so yeah uh, good fight initially thought it was a barbel but it's a nice eye so I'm gonna chuck it back and hopefully try and get a carp next and action 
so here we have another bream aka savage fish the wait for a carp continues be back soon your left hand rod's going mate and would you believe it while i was recording that last segment another savage fish unbelievable scenes here jeff on the banks of holbar partridge lakes let's let's catch that carp now eh? so here we have fish number 11 uh, it's just a little roach a pound believe it or not must be big boned uh, still not caught a carp 11 fish in it's about 10 o'clock or something, lost track of time. 5 to 5 to 10 even. And I've caught 11 fish. Well, I'm going to get this one back before I give it concussion. Um, I'll see you in a bit. When it's half past 10. Ooh. It's still half past 10. Uh, and I've got this nice barbel. Don't know how it's only three and a half pound because Savage's little bream weigh a pound and a bit, same as his roach, but apparently that's three and a half pound. So I'm chuffed with it anyway. Really good fight. Just need some carp now. See you in a bit. Well, I've just got this barbel. It's now 20 to 11. It's only about a pound and a half, but David's rod's just gone, so it's got a carp, I hope. So I'll see you in a second. Welcome to the Savage Reefer Fishing Channel. So here we have it, the elusive carp. A nice mirror, five pound four. Brilliant start, makes a difference to the bream. Not quite as good a fight as a roach, but you know, we're getting that. <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> well, amazing scenes here from that lovely mirror carp to a savage. We're back, we're back with the savage. Uh, so hopefully, uh, get some more carp. Well, we've not seen one of these today. Oh, actually, it's another savage fish, number 11. It's a bream, not a savage fish. I am literally living the bream. Unbelievable scene to at Partridge Lakes. Jesus. Right guys, I'm here again. I promise you Bri is still about. He's just not caught anything for a while. But another bream. I can't believe it. I've never caught so many bream in my life. I am a bit of a bream specialist. Brian on the other hand's over there, swinging it out. Oh right near the reeds but it's just been snapped as well not by a fish just by a reed right i'll report back soon YouTube channel and I finally got a fish. It's a barbel. Only two pounds. But I've not had a fish for a while, so it's a bonus. So I'm gonna chuck it back and try and get a carp. So literally ten seconds later, my other rod's gone, and I've caught the David Savage fish. So you can't beat him. So by lunchtime Savage had caught three more silvers to make the score 16.9 to 26.6 in his favour and then my bites just kept on coming. 
Well, this is the first for me out of Holbar. I've got a nice tench. Two pounds, one ounce. So, really nice. Thought it was a carp. Then I thought it was a barbel. This turned out to be a nice tench. Well, it's 12.45 and I've got yet another barbel. Two pounds, two ounces. So yeah, not a carp, but it keeps chipping away at David's deficit of 86 pounds worth of bream. So, look it back and hopefully get a carp. So, it's been a while. This fish isn't happy with me. So this is embarrassing. Right, so it's been a while, but I'm back with a bream, two pound two. Just recently lost a big fish. A little bit going about that, but I'm going to get another fish after a little bit of a wait. See you in a bit. So after that bream, David got several more silvers to bring his score to 32.5. It was starting to look ominous. Well, it's 10 to two. And after being inundated with barbel and bream and roach, I finally got another carp. So it's four and a half pound, nice little common. David's in again, so I'll see you in a bit. So, Bry catches a carp and then I come wading in with another bream. Would you Adam and Eve it? Can't believe it, two and a half pound. Sick of catching these today. Just want a carp, come on. Well, it's me again. Fry's currently reeling one in. Not sure what it is yet, but I've just caught. Ugh. Slippery one. Just caught this lovely carp, four pound three. Nice little specimen. Pretty, pretty happy with this one. Put it back, see you in a bit. Well, as David was showing you his, his nice carp, I've just got this little barbel, just over a pound. It seems like the swims are picking up again now, so hopefully we're gonna have a busy afternoon. So it's now five past two, all to play for. Well, move over, Savage. There's a new bream keem in, oh, fuck's sake, fuck that <laughs> Well, move over Savage, there's a new Bream King in town with this nice three and a half pound Bream. It's the biggest Bream of the day. I hate them with a passion, but it gives me an extra three and a half pounds. So, oh, David's in, so. David's in, three and a half pounds, hate them with a passion. Let's get some more. So, just when Bry thought he was clawing it back, I've got a bream of my own, two and a half pounds. I needed that one. Let's get some more. So after, so after a long wait, here we have the first double of the day. 10 pound and what was it, Bry? It was 10 pound three. 10 pound three, which is a new PB for me. Superb, so, mate. Happy days. Hold a bit forward so it looks bigger. Bit out, out a bit towards me. Cracking that, mate, well done. Here we have Bry's sixth, maybe seventh attempt. Sixth attempt of a cast. It's absolutely ploughing through his mix. Here he goes. One and a two and a three. There it goes. Oh, perfect. I tell you what, he's fed the ducks there. The rod's gone. The rod's going. They look happy. Oh, his other rod's gone as well. Unbelievable scenes here at Partridge Lakes. Here he goes, check him out. It might have taken him six casts to get his other one in, but his other one's gone. And what fish is it on, Bry? What are you guessing at? Oh, it feels like a carp, he says. There'll be fur further development soon. We'll come back to you. Well, as you saw with Savage Cam, my rod went off. Unfortunately, it wasn't a carp. 
It was another barbel, 1.8 pounds, gutted. So chuck it back, because Savage has got another bream. So with that bream, David got another two for an extra 3.9 pounds. It was looking like I was well and truly beaten. 25 to five, David's gonna go around about five o'clock. And I've just got this little common carp, just over two pounds. I'm still about 20 pound behind David, so I'm not gonna win that. But it's nice to see another carp. I think I've only had about two today, so yeah. Hopefully a few more to come. Well, it's five to <laughs> it's five to five and David's packed up now and I've just got this last barbel to finish with only about two pounds so just make a dint in it I've lost by about 20 pounds to David it's been a great day he's caught more bream than I've ever seen caught before uh, I've lost and David got a double and got his PB so excellent so thanks for watching Please like and sub please like and subscribe uh, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Right, you can go now. Uh, I'm staying now for an extra couple of hours to try and catch a decent fish. Wish me luck. Seven. I've had several roach, a barbel, David might have gone, but we're still catching bream. So this is two and a half pound of the finest partridge fisheries bream. I think we've had about 30 today, so I'm, this is probably going to be the last fish. Um, if you don't hear from me, thanks for watching again. Please like and subscribe, leave any comments, and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.